Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Andrew Precious and today we are diving into a topic that is essential for every software engineer. Software engineering practice. We will explore how a structured approach can help in developing reliable, maintainable and efficient software. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned developer, you will find valuable insights in today's video. Let us get started. First, let us define what software engineering practice is. It is essentially a structured and organized approach for designing, developing and operating and maintaining software. The objective here is to apply engineering principles to create software that is reliable, maintainable and efficient. Then what is the ultimate goal? The goal is to produce high quality software systematically and in a disciplined way. Now, let us break down the generic software process model. It consists of five core activities, communication, planning, modeling, construction and deployment. Think of these as the building block or framework that guides the entire software development process. The first framework activity is communication. So this is where we engage our with customers to gather requirements. It includes activities like requirements gathering, collaboration with stakeholders and documenting everything clearly. Without strong communication, the rest of process can quickly fall apart. Next, we have planning. So in this phase, we create a roadmap for the entire software engineering process. Key elements include task planning, assign, assessing risk, estimating resources, and creating a project schedule. This phase helps ensure that the project stays on track and that potential risks are accounted for in advance. Once the planning is done, we move on to modeling. Here, we create various models to better understand the software's requirement and its design. This includes functional models, architectural models and system models. These models act as a blueprint for how the system should be built. Now comes the construction phase where the actual building of the software takes place. This includes coding and testing to ensure that everything works as expected. It is a critical phase because this is where we see our design comes to life and where we start identifying potential bugs. Finally, we have deployment. So this is when the software is delivered to the customer and feedback is collected. Deployment doesn't just mean delivering the product. It's about making sure the user accepts the product and that any issues are promptly addressed in future iterations. Now I want to introduce someone who has significantly influenced the way we approach problem solving, not just in software engineering, but in many disciplines. George Poilia. So George Poilia is often referred to as a father of modern problem solving. He was a Hungarian mathematician who made significant contributions to mathematical problem solving. His work, particularly his book, How to Solve It, is still relevant to this days. Polya's approach to problem solving can be applied directly to software engineering. His methods involve four key steps. Understand the problem. This is where communication and analysis comes in. 
planning the solution involves modeling and design carry out the plan the actual code generation examine the result this involves testing and quality assurance to make sure the solution works step 1 understand the problem you need to know who the stakeholders are what the unknowns are and whether the problem can be broken down into smaller parts this deep understanding is crucial before moving forward step 2 planning the solution here we take into account similar problems existing solutions and whether any components can be reused so this is where we create the design model which will guide the development process step 3 carrying out the plan now that we have a model we use it as a roadmap to build the system one important aspect is to ensure that the code conforms to the design and there is traceability between the code and the original model. Step 4 Examining the result. So this is where testing comes into play. Each component of the software is tested to ensure it meets stakeholder requirements. Validation and verifications are key activities here. So that's an overview of software engineering practice. As you see, following a structured process ensures that we develop software systematically, reliably and efficiently. By incorporating approaches like George Euler's problem solving method, we can better manage the complexity of software development. So thank you for watching. You found if you found this video helpful like this and leave any questions or comments below until next time. Happy coding.